right, Shalom. First and foremost, just as always, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, the Ancient of Days, the Creator of all energy, whereby salvation may be obtained, being Yahweh, and that of the Messiah whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, being Yahweh Shai. Those are the only names in which salvation may be obtained, whether you have been given the Spirit to receive that knowledge or not. I'd like to give double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone, who have taught me this truth with the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and who do rule well today. And a sincere peace, love, blessing, salutations be unto the elect of the nation of Israel, beginning with the 140 and 4,000 prophets, all the way down to the remaining elect of our nation prophesied to come out of the lies and the deceits of this world and return unto the knowledge and the identity of who we truly are, man, which, you know, part of that is going to be what? Returning to these laws, statutes, and commandments, which is our heritage, man. Our heritage, our culture is not black and brown culture, man. You see, our culture revolves around that of what us being gods, man, as the book of Psalms, the 82nd chapter tells us, right? So we're returning to the state of godhood, man. And again, the laws are going to be used to do that. But one thing that we must understand is the only way we're able to do this, to return, is through Yahweh Shai, man. It's not by the oldness of the letter. You see, it's not by just simply following the law, man. If that was the case, then there would be no, there would be no need for a new covenant because we would have been perfect in the first place, man. Um, this is the book of... Where am I now? Hebrews chapter 8 and verse um, 7. It says, For if the first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. Look at that, man. The first covenant had a fault. And what was that? That the law was written upon stone and not within us, man. So we had this, these lists of laws that we were to obey, but we have this wretched flesh upon us, man, to war against the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So naturally, Naturally, we would we would eventually go off, man. We would have this this covenant stripped from us because we had broke it, right? And so we were given Yahweh Shai, man, the way to return. He who was found worthy to loose the seals of this book, making it able for us to read it as I've went into on previous lessons, man. All right, so now we're able to read. Now we're able to understand, now we're able to break down these prophecies, and that's what it is, man. The, the structure of these scriptures, understanding who Yahweh Shai is, understanding the law, understanding how the law will lead to a point, as we read here, to be written within us, man, to be written within our inward parts, so that we could rule this earth and perfect. This is all prophecy, man. This is the, the, the structure of the scriptures, you see? And you're going to find, you know, different groups out here, man. And, you know, these different groups are going to, are going to, um, what's the word I'm looking for, man? These different groups are going to attract different individuals according to, to, you know, what they got going on, man. Like this group here might have women or involved or, or, you know, maybe somebody want, maybe, uh, you you know, you want to go over there cause they got the women. Maybe you want to go over there cause they got the, you know, the fancy garments or whatever the case may be, man. You see, but at the end of the day, what matters is the edification, man. What matters is what's being, and like I went into on the last lesson going in on this, um, you know, this video here. All right. Hey, at the end of the day, man, the fire is going to reveal who really got it and who doesn't, man. And, you know, again, we get, we, we've been given this law so we know how to return, but it goes beyond that, man. You see, it goes beyond that. Let me go ahead and grab one more uh, precept and we'll go ahead and play a little more of this video. All right. Cause you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to demonize none of these groups out here cause you know, odds are you have members of the elect out there, but we are going to get on the doctrine and we are going to correct it, man. All right. That's what we're out here to do. You see? And that's why I created this, this channel. All right. And this series through the spirit of what pulling down of strongholds, man. And now, you know, we're, the spirit has us focusing on uh, IUIC. All right. Which again, I'm not here to demonize them because you have, you know what I mean? They're, they're out there. They're out there doing something, man. They're out there, you know, Telling, telling Jake who they are, you know, you're the Israelites, you know, return to the law, but that's kind of where it caps off, that's where it ends, man, and again, it goes beyond that, and so there's a lot of brothers, you know, who I've been around, who are, you know, are in the ranks of GMS, who have, you know, started off by listening to IUIC, man, but the way I like to picture it is like a funnel, man, the elect are going to find their way, 
You're going to have all these different groups out there, but the true edification is out there. The true doctrine is out there. And just like we're able to see it clear as day, they're going to see it clear as day, man. You see? This has been given unto the elect, to that fraction, to that remnant. So let's go ahead and... um. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. I wanted to grab this. You know what? Actually, I'll grab this in a minute. Let me play some of the video first. Dang, this brother, he came up to the camp scoffing one time. So again, picking up where we left off. All right, you could, I'll, I'll label this, you know, part two or something. But you you can see the last the last video I did. And if you haven't um, if you haven't seen my new channel, man, I'm, I'll, I'll put it in the uh, in the uh, 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 what is it? The details box or whatever they call it. Um. Yeah, the description box. I'll put it in the description, man. I'll put a link for it in there. All right, so you can, it's easier to catch these last uh, lessons. So lock you, man. So anyway, um, you know, what took place here, all right, just in the last six minutes here, um, you know, the brothers went in, you know, got some edifying scriptures as far as the name goes, which, you know, again, you know, we don't need to get all stirred up and go out here and, uh, you know, try to try to you know get in get in these different cranks if you see a cap out there man let them have their corner like i said they're doing the most highs work to a degree man you see and even though they may not have the whole the whole uh role you know hey the elect the elect may use them as a stepping stone man and again there might be uh you know sincere members among their congregation that do repent as they see all hell breaking loose and, and <laughs> you know and they see the prophecies that gms that you know they they slandered this whole time calling us conspiracy theorists and it's june there ain't no microchip and what have you all right you're gonna see a lot of them uh uh you know jump ship man because they're gonna realize that these prophecies that again are the structures of these scriptures are coming to pass man all right but anyway you know the brothers the brother saw him right there and you know of course <laughs> you know I, you know i i wouldn't be lying if i you know if i said i didn't uh you know get up there and uh you know question people and uh you know what have especially you know especially when you get that got that fire on you man you know sometimes it's hard to uh you know to avoid you know what i mean so you know but the point being all right you know these these at the end of the day man the most highest work is going to be done the elect are going to hear it and they are going to repent all right but i'm uh, I'm doing this video you know for the edification to you know straighten out a couple things that were uh you know that 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 were uh said and um you know, to just prove the stance of the, uh, you know, beloved brother here, Kwana Wath, and, uh, and, uh, and, the, and the brother with him, man, um, you know, that, that you know, what, the, what, the, what they came up with. So they're, you know, going in on the name, brought out some edifying scriptures, and, you know, the, the IUIC, um, you know, kind of stepped around the whole name thing, man. So, oh, you bringing out scriptures we already heard? Well, the, not everybody has heard these scriptures, man. If, if you've heard them already, then then break them down. Tell us what they mean, because they clearly are saying what they say, man. You see, but he ended up tiptoeing around it, you know, and began accusing these brothers, which that's part of the law, in fact. For a group that's all about the law, <laughs> you just transgress the law. And the scripture I was going to grab earlier, man, what does it say about, about if you break one law? What does that do, man, for you? This is the book of James, chapter... Uh, two if i'm not mistaken it might be chapter three um con this is it in verse 10 it says for whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point so if you're perfect in the law man you have your fringes on every day your 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 blue ribbon is the same fabric as those fringes which is also the same fabric as the entire attire that you have on that day <laughs> you know you have no unclean thought it just everything is perfect man but yet say you uh you know say you touched a door handle that a woman who was on her impurity had touched before that well now you just offended in all points of the law so you keeping all those other laws you broke them man <laughs> the scriptures are telling you you just broke every law man you see so it goes beyond, you know, just wearing fringes or whatever the case is, because if you wore in fringes, but yet you're in this flesh and, you know, you got a, 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 a you know, something else go. Maybe you killing people, man. <laughs> what do the fringes matter at that point, man? You see, I'm not telling you that, you know, to just make void laws, which we're going to go into that here shortly. 
But the point being, man, this guy just offended in all points of the law. So these fringes he's wearing don't matter right now. Right? You just offended, you just you just 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 transgressed the law by accusing the brother. Which is which hey, that's bearing false witness, man. I know for I know these brothers. And so I know that they go out there and do the work. Hey, this brother, he came up to the camp scoffing one time. No. All y'all brothers do is come to Israelites that's doing the work, Bring it and y'all just come about the name doctrine. But so now it's turned to emotions, man. You all, you all, you brothers do is come and bother us. <laughs> Getting emotional, which, like I said, man, you know, hey, just you know, let them do their thing. They're gonna do their thing. Hey, let the wicked be wicked still, right? The scriptures tell us that, man. Let the wicked be wicked still. Let's grab that. This is the book of Revelation, chapter uh, 22 and verse, uh, let's see what verse that is, man, verse, um, 11. It says, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still, and he that is filthy, let him be filthy still, man. IUIC is going to be out there in their purple garments, speaking in their microphones, man, <laughs> until all hell breaks loose, man. And then you're going to see particular of them repent, then you're going to see particular of them stand in their ignorance and die, man. I'm gonna see some trodden down bloody purple garments here real soon on the streets man you see for those of you who do not repent so let him be filthy still because the heavenly father is going to reckon with him man you see it says and he that is righteous let him be righteous still and he that is holy let him be holy still why 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 do we why right verse 12 it says and behold i come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work shall be so the heavenly father is going to give every man according to his work man so you know at the end of the day man if this brother you know if the brother right here is doing the work of the lord then hey that's between him and the most high man the same with this group out here if these guys are out here in sincerity seeking the most high maybe the most high will have mercy on him man if these guys are out here you know for contentious reasons to be carnal right because this is a pretty carnal group man i'm not gonna this is a very carnal group the iuic just just in the in the small matters of the things that they do you see rap battles man i don't, I don't we don't even need to begin to touch on their passovers the money <laughs> these men had to pay a lot of money for these garments man you see well somebody's raking it up and lining their pockets on the very top somebody's making some buku bucks out there man you see but anyway the Heavenly Father is going to deal with every single one of them, man. All right. Yet and still, y'all not living like Christ. When did Christ go up to the Pharisees and debate doctrine? When did Christ, when did Christ go out his way to go seek the Pharisees? Never. Y'all do that. Y'all got the spirit of the Pharisees on you. Let's get that name. Read. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 9, verse 13. Give verse 10. Give verse 10. And yeah, I wish I put their ass out, man. When we, we, hey, what about what about the time where he went he went with uh, uh, scourges and wires and began whipping the people within the temple, man? What about what about that account? Which I suppose we could go ahead and grab it real quick. Let's see. This is um. John chapter 2 and verse 15 and it reads and when he had made a scourge of small cords he drove them out of the temple and the sheep of oxen and poured out the changers so he actually went out there and was touching people's belongings man because <laughs> what he did what he, and, he, and he found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and changers of money Right, we don't even want. Hey, what about Nehemiah, who was actually beating Israelites, man, ripping their hair out of their head? <laughs> this, this said verse. Uh, this is and the oxen and poured out the changers' money and overthrew. Ta so he's over there turning tables over, man, knocking down tables. Sixteen. It says, and said unto them that sold doves, take these things hence. 
make not my father's house a house of merchandise so he saw that and it drew uh wrath in him man but you know you see these different groups out there put especially you know what i mean i me personally i see these i've been seeing a lot of these uh jehovah's witnesses and mormons out here man and part of you <laughs> you know part of you you know it, it inflames you a little bit man you want to go out there and, and start slicing and dicing them but you, but you know hey you know the point that this guy was making was valid to a degree because yahweh shai did say this too man um this is matthew chapter 15 and uh let's see verse verse uh 13 it says and he answered saying every plant which my heavenly father hath planted shall, shall be rooted up let them alone for they be blind leaders of the blind and if the blind lead the blind they both shall fall into a ditch so that's what you see here man Several garments here man the blind leading the blind all the way up to the head that's at the tip of it which like i mentioned in the last video man these groups are sold out man somebody took the purse if not Nate, then, you know, maybe somebody hidden above him. I don't know. But, I mean, clearly, man, the scriptures say what they say about the name and about, you know, particular other things. But, as the scriptures say, man, hey, follow not a multitude to do evil. You're going to see a multitude of Jakes out here, and it's going to entice you to, to, to follow one, man. All right, just like you see, you know, if you're around and you, the, the, a lot of people and their opinion is leading a particular way, it's easy for you to, to chase right along with them, man. Running to the same access of riot. This is Ecclesiasticus or Sirach 16 and 1. Desire not a multitude of unprofitable children, neither delight in the ungodly sons. Though they multiply, rejoice not in them. So you see this large group, man. A large, you see them doing their military marches. And you know what I mean? It's, it's going to carnally intrigue you, man. It's it just, hey, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to make you feel it. Man, look at this big group, man. All these brothers getting together, man. These, they got the women over there. Hey, you could go get yourself a night. Hey, they, they were auctioning off women at their Passover, man. Uh, but hey, what could you do for a brother, sister? Oh, well, I could cook. I could clean. <laughs> hey, that's going to entice you to go over there, man. But again, why are we here? Are we here for the women? Are we here for the, for the, uh, uh, you know, for the marches, man, for the, hey, if, if that was the case, go join a marching band. <laughs> we, we here for the edification, man. We here for the elect. We here for salvation, man. You see? So anyway, going on, it says, Trust not thou in their life, neither respect their multitude. Don't even respect their multitude, man. Like I said, hey, they're, they're members of the elect, probably among them. Whatever, but hey, it is what it is, man. For those sincere members that may be among them, they will come out of there, man. All right. It says, for one that is just is better than a thousand. So you might have one just brother that's better than their entire congregation, man. Better than a thousand. You see that? Yahweh Shai said it too, man. If, if, if a man ha, ha, have lost one sheep, right, he's going to be rejoicing over that lost sheep than those that have never been lost. It says, and better it is to die without children than to have them that are ungodly. So that's probably, that's good on that. So let's go ahead and uh, play a little more. Uh, give verse 10. Verse 10. And, said his, and showed his signs and wonders upon Pharaoh uh -huh. and on all his servants. Who's the one that showed signs upon Pharaoh and all his servants? The Most High. Read. And on all the people of his land. Uh -huh. For thou knewest that they dealt proudly against him. Read. So didst thou get thee a name as hold his... Hold on, hold on. Then what? So didst thou get thee a name. Get what? A didst thou get thee a name. So when you did all these things. So what you got to understand, man. If you do something to obtain yourself a name. That is the definition of a reputation. In fact, let's look up the word reputation and see what that definition is, man. The beliefs or opinions that generally held about someone or something, right? A widespread belief that someone or something has a particular habit or characteristic, right? So he got himself a name. He got himself a reputation 
right? Because he put out this particular characteristic by destroying the Egyptians, man, which is why all the heathen nations were coming up and they were, they learned the heavenly fathers. That name is what that reputation is what Allah Shadia, man, which means terrible demon like power. This is why you had Israelites coming before Israel and trying to make peace treaties with them and, and disguising themselves as a far away heathen because they were in fear of what happened to Pharaoh, man. And that's what the heavenly father is going to do again after he destroys Esau, man. The whole world's going to, oh shit, he destroyed Esau. <laughs> Ishmael's going to be over there like, damn, we've been trying for years, man. But when you did all these things against... And you see how their speaker gets real loud and riled up in his megaphone, man. So it's real easy to, you know, to, to stir up the masses. And that's what they are. Really, these, 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 are, these are great spokesmen. That's what you have, man. All right. But what's the substance behind what they're saying? Prophecy? No. Nine times out of ten, you ain't going to see that much prophecy from these groups, man. Did it, then thou gettest thee a name. It wasn't talking about his actual name. It was talking about the things he did for Israel. Right. right. Those things he did for Israel gave him that reputation, man. He, he, he's still not breaking down the scriptures that the brother brought out earlier, which he won't, which is why we'll just, you know, continue. Because really, man, it's like dealing with these groups out here, man, it's like a game of whack-a-mole. You see, the mole pops up, you whack the, 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 the thing, and it's still just going to pop out another place. So, I mean, maybe somebody will watch it and be edified, but, I mean, shoot, man. Most of these people are, 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 are going to gonna be deceived by it even further. Look at this, lions versus cheetahs. They came out walking and left limping. This because this man don't know the scriptures. He knows the spokesman. Right, it actually says that in the same chapter we were just reading, out of uh, the book of Matthew, chapter fifteen, man. This is Matthew fifteen and uh, nine. It says, uh, we'll go read verse eight and nine. It says, "These people draw nay to me with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips." And in this case, man, hey, in the form of what you putting on fringes and stuff, you gonna see how this guy starts mentioning the fringes and talking about, oh man, hey, who raise your hand, all those who wear fringes for their king, Yahweh, or well, he didn't say Yahweh Shai, but you know, for their God. <laughs> and so, you know, naturally, if you hear that, man, and you carnal, you'd be like, man, these guys don't care about God. These guys don't have their fringes. Look, these men are sacrificing. Hey, the sacrifice goes deeper than you putting fringes on, man. Than you giving that lip service, man. It says, but their hearts are far from me. It says, but in vain they do worship me for uh, teaching for doctrines and commandments of men. Right? Teaching doctrines and commandments of men. And it, it don't matter what, what you know, what, what, the, what the scriptures, what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah be doing, man. These guys, these guys, the, 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 these followers, these groupies, man, they be, they be following the words of men. They be following what, 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 uh, uh, these spokesmen are stirring them up and get in their emotions and feelings to get them, uh, uh, to get them going, man. Hey, it was talking about the things he did for Israel. That's why when it says there's no name you can be saved under, it's talking about the actual person, not his name. Because I can say, if there's no other, y'all got the name? Yeah. What's the name? Yahweh. Yahweh. I can have a son and name him Yahweh. Yeah, you can. So, is, so just because I name him Yahweh, is that now the most high God? What is his point? What is his point, man? <laughs> I'm crazy, man. Hey, Yahweh Shai and uh, 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 Joshua had the same name. Does that take away <laughs> who Yahweh Shai is, man? You see, these guys just talk in circles, man. Most high is the spirit. Is that now the most high God in heaven? Because his name's Yahweh. <laughs> Look at even the brothers laughing. What? <laughs> no, that's not the most high God in heaven. For that question. I just said that. I just said that. If I have a son and name him Yahweh, is that the son? Oh, Lord, the brother answered this question like three times, man. Fast forward a little bit. Signs and wonders upon Pharaoh and on all his servants and on all the people of his land. For thou knewest that they dealt proudly against them. So didst thou get thee a name? Then didst thou get thee a name? Read. Children of 
Israel from the land of Egypt. The God that saved the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Now give me Zephaniah nine, uh, 3. Zephaniah 3 and 9. Y'all brothers come here to scoff about the name. Where, y'all got your fringes on? Where your fringes at? Where your fringes at? That's not a law. That's not a law, brother? It's not. It's so, did Christ, Yahweh Shai, wear fringes? Which, you know, I know this brother, you know, he's a, you know, this, this, this brother knows, um, you know, the, the scriptures pretty well. And I, I, I know he, uh, you know, I think he might have just been caught up in the moment, man. And, you know, had said that, you know, that's not a law, which, you know, it is a law. That's why, you know, but they, they, now they're going to use this stance for them to demonize the brothers all together and try to prove them wrong. And which is where you have the name that they can't GMS show up to camp and receive a spiritual lashing. So really, it doesn't take much for them to grab something, which is what they were doing to Yahweh Shai, man. Right. Uh, uh, verse one, it says, verse, uh, uh, Matthew 15 and one, then came Yahweh Shai to the scribes. It's like it then came to Yahweh Shai scribes and Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem saying, why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. So they would come up to him with, you know, a particular way to try to, uh, you know, try to try to get him to slip up and say something wrong, man. You see? So then they could use that as a foot to stand on to try to destroy him in front of the eyes of the people, man. You see? Which is what IUIC is doing here, which, hey, this may be done to deceive someone in particular. I mean, it's all at the end of the day, it's all in the most high's hands, man. The elect are going to see right through this. Clearly, we could see right through this. And that's why I'm doing this video to, to you know, edify what's being what's being done here, man. That's not a law, brother. No, it's not. It's so did Christ, Yahweh Shai wear fringes? Yeah, he did. So shouldn't you wear fringes? You don't have to. You don't have to. So you don't have to do everything Christ did. We can't in our captivity. So we can't wear fringes, brother? Do you not see us wearing fringes? At work. At work. So now you can't wear it at work. Who wears fringes at work over here? That follow the Hamashiach. See, so there he goes trying to use that as a narrative to get the masses to to you know to to watch <laughs> right to get involved to get uh you know to, to stir up their emotions right oh i wear my fringes right right at, at the end of the day man hey what did the brother say he said that yeah of course yahweh shy wore fringes but yahweh shy was he that loosed the seals of the book man yahweh shy walked in perfection to be our scapegoat so we could get out, which again, our faith is proved by our works. That don't mean we don't have to do, you know, nothing. But we read earlier, if you offend in one point of law, then you offend in all, man. You see? So we 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 expose the balance here, man. It's not just the law, 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 law. The law is right, our culture. The law is how we repent, how we get right. But it goes along with faith, man. It goes along with faith. Because every single one of these men out here, they have an ailment of some sort, man. They, But yet they wear their fringes. So, well, actually, we could use this as an example, too, man. That blue ribbon on their, on their garment. That blue ribbon is going to be a different fabric than that uh, uh, fringe, man. More than likely. So they already had a they they're already breaking the law by by wearing these fringes trying to to obey the law. You see? So it goes beyond this, man. You should, hey, just like he tried demonizing the brother, you buy, you should be pushing the word than coming out here and messing with. Hey, you should be pushing the word then hey, pushing the word comes before wearing fringes, man. Right? If you're wearing fringes but, you know, you're out there killing people, then it really don't mean much, right? So that's why the scriptures go into things like this, man. This is the book of uh, 1 Corinthians. Chapter 6 and verse... Verse uh, 12. Well, we'll read verse uh, verse 11. It says, and such were some of you. Right. We were <laughs> we were these people in the world at some point. Right. It says, but ye are washed. You see, we've been made washed. 
We've been made clean, man. It says, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai and by the spirit of our power. And this us being washed and made clean has done what? Verse 12, all things are lawful for me unto me, but all things are not expedient. So basically, man, if you're the elect, you're the elect. Rather, you got fringes on or not. And I'm not saying this to, you know, to try to say you don't, you know, you could just do whatever the hell you want. But there are other things that come more important than wearing fringes, man. We have fringes on our garments. These men want us to have fringes up the wazoo, man. <laughs> hey, and they did the same thing demonizing Yahweh Shai, man. Demonizing John the uh, the Baptist, right? Yahweh Shai was a drunkard and John the Baptist had demons, is what they told them. So they're going to find that, hey, evidently we demons because we don't got, got our fringes on 24-7. Go ahead and let them have it, man, because they're going to use that to deceive the two third, which is necessary for the kingdom, man. That is part of the problem. That has to be done, right? That has to be done, man. It says, so so because we've been made clean through Yahweh Shai, all things, there, really, there's nothing you could do to, to take that away, man, to take away your crown if you are the elect. Now, we don't know if we're the elect, which is why we prove our faith by our works and we seek perfection, Right? But again, if all things have been made lawful unto you, but not expedient, hey, there's there's more important things than others, man. Eating swine, it's easy to avoid eating swine, man. It's easy to, to avoid, they have all these different meats out, out here you could eat. But Jake's going to jump on you all day for wearing fringes, man. What do the scriptures say? It says, clean the inside of your, of your cup so the outside may follow. Which we'll go ahead and grab that in one second. Let me go ahead and read a little further, man. It says, all things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Right, all things are lawful but not expedient, meaning beneficial, man. They, hey, you could do particular things, but that doesn't make it beneficial to you, man. You see? We've been made clean through Yahweh Shai. That doesn't make the law void, right? But yet, the, hey, we're, we're living in a, in a generation that it makes it very difficult, well, impossible to be perfect. You see? And if we couldn't be perfect in ancient times, how much more today, man? You see, so not all things are beneficial, man. And you're going to lean upon the fringes like, you know what I mean? Like that's that's the, the first thing that comes to mind. Hey, that's why the scripture said what, man? Um, This is the book of John. Chapter 7 and verse 24, and it reads... Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. You see that, man? Judge not. Hey, these brothers appeared to not have fringes, and now you're demonizing them for it, man. Hey, well, you don't know what the... Hey, these brothers... <laughs> these brothers are actually very, very righteous brothers, man. And I, and I could I could attest to, to uh, you know, the, the brotherly love that these brothers do have. But anyway, this is Matthew chapter 23 and verse 25. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, which they tried, you know, telling the brothers. Actually, we'll jump back a verse, man. They tried telling the brothers they were uh, they were acting as scribes and Pharisees, man, which the role of the scribes and Pharisees was what? The law. <laughs> so they're really following after the same doctrine of these scribes and Pharisees, which is why it says what? Ye blind guides. Right? These guys are blind guides, man. Blind guides. They're out here attempting to guide the people, but they're doing it blindly. Why? Because they strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. So they're over <laughs> they're over here trying to consume a weighty matter, and they're over here getting confounded at the smallest matter. You're over here trying to break down the name and you can't even get you can't even get past the fringes, man. Because you're so caught up with the law. Verse 25, woe, meaning destruction unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. 
What it, one of the laws is what? Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord in vain. But you saying you could call him whatever the hell you want, man. And then you over here, you will make a public example out of somebody you don't have fringes on, man. For ye may clean the outside of the cup. These men look clean on the outside of the cup. And all you groupies which follow them, that's what you're seeing. You are judging according to the appearance. You are seeing the outside of the cup. But within they are full of extortion and access. You see? <laughs> They're full of bullshit on the inside, man. And that's why the brother saw it and got stirred up and went over there. Because he's like, man, these guys are not teaching the true name. They may look good on the outside with your little marches and jumberies or whatever the case is, man. But when it comes to the doctrine and the name, man, you guys are 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 are, are destroyed. Verse 26, thou blind Pharisees, clean, cleanse first that which is within the cup. Clean the inside first, man. The outside don't matter as much. <laughs> In fact, you're drinking from the inside. You're not you're not drinking from the outside. But you see, they do it on the outside so they could be seen in the eyes of men. Look at Follow the truth. Even how the he's king speaking. Of Israel. Even how he's speaking, man. <laughs> You're seeing this scriptures come to fruition right before your eyes. We oh yeah, that's right. We were fridge. You're gonna be over there, an innocent bystander. You're gonna be you gonna be feeling your emotions too, man. <laughs> You're like, oh man, yeah, where's my fridge? I gotta start wearing my fringes. Is Christ more fringes? Hey, hey brothers, hey. brother and sister over there. Hey. We are the chosen people of God. We are <laughs> brother, see now, look at that. I just said you'd be an innocent bystander, and now he's over here hollering at the innocent bystander when he done stirred up everybody and tried to uh, use this this fringes thing as as a leg to stand on to destroy these brothers in the public eye, and and make this video for clout, man. Which he tries to accuse the brothers of clout. When clearly, man, he did this for clout. <laughs> what a headline, man. GMS show up to camp and receive a spiritual lashing. <laughs> the children of Israel, we got to come back to the laws and commandments. That's what's important. Right. And that, hey, that's that's the the grazing, grazing the, the, the tip of the cusp, man. All right, returning to the law, statutes, and commandments. Yes, we do. Yes, us being an Israelite does, man. And that's why Yahweh was shy when he'd be questioning people who came to ask, right, what what they need to do to inherit eternal life. Or when he was answering people's questions, Salakia, he told him what? He told him, what does the law say? That's what it started off with. What is the law? That's that that's what the cusp was, right? That's what it began with. That's what it starts with. But then he goes on to tell like the like the 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 parable of the rich man, right? He tells him, hey, well, go and sell everything you got, man, and come follow me. <laughs> now you got to follow me. Now you got to push this word. Now you got to do what matters, man. And he wasn't willing to do that. You got to sacrifice yourself in this world, man. To hell with this world. To hell with this place. To hell with the fancy garments and the gimmicks, man. To hell with the outside of the cup. The outside of the cup will come once the inside of the cup is complete, man. So we're taking on this act of cleaning the inside of the cup, which may come in the form of you, you know, uh, uh, not wearing fringes, but you channeling that inner man to become better. The outer man may not be wearing fringes, but guess what? The inner man is cutting things off. The inner man is making changes. The inner man is praying. The inner man is going to camp. The inner man is prophesying. The inner man is reading, man. The inner man is, is doing everything he can to clean the inside of that cup. And you got the outer man putting up a, a, a banner for the blind to come and 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 join and wearing fringes is a part of the israelites customs it's a part of our dress code it's part of the customs man it is but all things are lawful yet not expedient you see and we know too that that all hell's about to break up break loose out here man i ain't saying that we gonna hide from esau but <laughs> wearing your fringes and 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 you know Walking around with your hand in the air saying, I'm an Israelite, is not the greatest idea right now, man. Use wisdom. I mean, it even got to the point where uh, I believe that was Paul that was telling the, the that was telling Esau to go and repent. <laughs> go and repent that he could be saved. Because <laughs> he got, he got, what, he got put in there. He was getting ready to, they were getting ready to put his ass to death, man. 
So he had to be wise. He had to use wisdom, man. All right, you got to use wisdom. You got to be mindful of the scourges that Esau is getting ready to put upon us, man. And for those of you who do not have the hedge, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and the inside of the cup ain't cleaned up, it's going to be a bloodbath out here, man. I, I feel sorry for those of you who do not see through the purple garments. Oh, do y'all let your wives wear pants? Nope. No, no. no, why not? Why not? Was it why not? Deuteronomy 22 and 5, so it's a law, right? Right. Is fringes a law? No. It's not a law. No, he said y'all brothers have no understanding, brother. So they just go ahead and use that, which again, you know, the brother, you know, I think he kind of got, <laughs> you know, got caught up in all the craziness that was going on out there and, uh, you know, had it been a little better off, maybe perhaps a couple brothers could have been with him. But, you know, this is why at the end of the day, we just, you know, here at GMS, we don't do those type of type of debates. And if you see these groups out there, man, even though you're going to feel stirred up and wanting to go and deal with them, you know, it's better off just not to, man. Just let let the blind be leaders of the blind. If, uh, you know, if something's going to be mentioned about them, hey, well, listen to what the elders and the apostles are, are, are going in on, man, because they do they do touch on these guys quite a bit, you see. But us going out there, we ain't going to change their minds. But we may go out there and, and, and you know, one of them may, may uh, you know, the word may take root. Somebody may be watching and, you know, may may look a little further into things. And, you know, at the end of the day, man, hey, Proverbs 20 and 24, man's goings of the Lord. How can then a man understand his own way? So we just out here to push the truth. We out here to edify. We out here to ensure that the uh, uh, proper doctrine is, is, is being put on that all high banner while the rest is putting up a banner for the blind, man. So just take heed to who it is that you're listening to, who it is you're watching. And uh, fact check everything that you're hearing, man. All right. And and ensure that the structure of the doctrine is prophecy, man. Because that's that's hey, what did you have I say? We'll go ahead and end it on this, man. And we'll I, I want to go ahead and get back into this because he does touch a little bit further on the name. He goes into that Zephaniah. So Lord willing, we could go into that and, and break that down properly. All right, but uh, let's see. What was I gonna get, man? Oh, no, no, uh, now I'm over here. Forgot it. Is. Um, Revelation. Call to wild, man. I forgot what it was that I was uh making mention of that I was gonna grab, but nonetheless. I believe the point has been more than made and uh yeah man you prove you you prove your faith by your works but yet faith and works go hand in hand you see yeah i wish i brought us out now there's you know heavier uh there's there's more important things than you just wearing fringes man you see cleaning the inside of that cup that the outside will follow man which that outside is going to take place when? At the return of Yahweh Shai, man. So at that, Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory once more unto Yahweh. Baha Shim Yahweh Shai, Baha Shim Dash. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone. And peace, love, blessings, salutations unto the elect. As I grab the precept that just came back into remembrance, man. It's the book of Revelation, chapter uh, 11. And verse 11, it says, oh, lucky that wasn't it. Uh, oh, yeah, 19, Revelation 19, it's lucky, man. Revelation 19 and 10. And it reads, And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said to me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and thy brethren that have the testimony of of Yahweh Shai. Worship God. And let's see what that testimony of Yahweh Shai is, man, if it's the law. It says, For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And again, hey, all call I am Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Dash. Peace, love, blessing, salutations. I know you sincere and hopeful elect, members of the elect out there and, shall, and, and double honors unto the elders and the apostles. Again, Lord willing, this is edifying. Until next time, I'm going to say Shalom.